Hey, Mike here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a custom email address using your custom domain with Kajabi. Okay. So what does that mean? Let me give you an example. So my website, my comp my business, whatever is, uh, my domain is zermellomusic.com. Okay. Zermellomusic.com. And my business email is zermello at zermellomusic.com right? We all love business emails because it looks legit, okay? So when I'm in Kajabi, right, um, I've obviously set up my domain, but then another thing that you can do in Kajabi is set up your marketing email domain sending, okay? So what that means is that when you reach out to customers or if you reach out to um, just the contacts that you have for marketing, then you can set this up so that you're sending from your custom email, Okay, so this video is kind of assuming that you have already done that, okay? Um, now, here's the problem. When you do this, okay, when you set up your marketing email domain sending in Kajabi, the only thing that's really happening is anytime you create some kind of email campaign, whether it's, a, you know, a broadcast or some kind of sequence or something like that, the only thing that's happening is when you send those emails yeah, they're going to send from the custom email address. That's good, right? You want that. The problem is that Kajabi doesn't have like a Gmail-like type service. It's not a problem. It's not that we expect Kajabi to have a you know custom email service or like a Gmail type of thing, okay? And so what that means is I'm not able to simply send emails when I want to to anybody, right? Or, or, um, or receive emails from whatever, right? I'm, I'm restricted to sending marketing emails to the contacts that I have, right? I can't just send it out really to anybody. I mean, in the way that I can inside of Gmail, okay? So that's what I want, is I want to be able to send and receive emails from my custom email domain, um, just like I do with Gmail, for example, with a personal account, okay? And so the way that you have to set that up is you have to set that up in, your back end, in the back end of your domain host, but here's the here's the thing is you you also have to create what's called an MX record inside of Kajabi. OK, and so let's go ahead and, and let me walk you through that really quickly. OK, because I want to just make this video for the people who want the quick information. So um, pretty much. So check this out. So this is right here. This is what I'm talking about. So. If we go to, this is the back end of where I buy domain. So I buy my domain through A2 Hosting. Uh, if you use uh, anything else, it's going to be very similar to you because you just go to your cPanel, the back end. You'll have something like email accounts, right? And then you could just create a new one, very easy based on the domains. You just give it whatever name. You can have it uh, Mike or you can, this one I have it, just Zermelo. And so then I could just go ahead and check my email, and that's what this is, right? And so from here, this is just like Gmail, right? I can send a new message. I can receive, right? So I'm not limited to only sending marketing emails in Kajabi, right? This operates just like a Gmail type of thing, you know? Um, and so and so that's that's kind of cool to have that freedom because what most people do in Kajabi is they will set up their from email address, but the reply to is going to be their personal email address, right? So let's say you send a marketing email and you set this up so you have uh, you have it coming from your custom email address. So when, when someone on your marketing list or a customer receives an email from you, it'll say from you at yourdomain.com, okay? But when you reply to them, you need to set up uh, or when they reply to you, you need to specify where that email is going to go, right? And so a lot of times people will have their personal email addresses. So they'll, when someone replies to their marketing email, it'll go to their personal address. But what if you want to continue the conversation using your custom email domain, right? That's where this video kind of comes in. And that's why you have to go back here and you have to set up uh, a custom domain that you want to use. So in this case, again, I'm using Zermelo at zermelomusic.com. But again, here is, here's the problem. The problem is that when you connect your domain, when you connect your domain to Kajabi, there's two ways you could do it. You could do it through um, a name server connection or a CNAME connection. 
I think most people are going to do the um, the name server connection. It's pretty easy because and, and I'm, uh, this video actually assumes that you've done it because um, Kajabi is going to give you name servers and then you just go to your domain host and you just swap out the domain host name servers for a Kajabi's name servers. And so then now your domain here is going to be pointing to um, Kajabi, okay? And so that's pretty much the easiest way to do it. And so assuming that you have done that, okay, that's how you're gonna get your domain connected. And, and the, but the, again, the problem is that when you use the name servers, Kajabi uses um, Cloudflare name servers. Okay, and so what that means is you would have to go in order to 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 get this in order to receive or, or send emails. You need to create what's called an MX record inside of Cloudflare. Okay, um, because uh, l let me explain. All right, because what's going on is um, here inside of A2 since zermelomusic.com since i updated the name server zermelomusic.com isn't really pointing to a2 anymore and so um it's not going to so any anytime someone sends um an email to zermelo at zermelomusic.com it's not coming over to a2 anymore it's not coming to a2 anymore it's going to the cloudflare servers that kajabi uses okay and so in order for me to get my email at my domain host, which is A2, I then have to um, set up an MX record inside of Cloudflare that sends it over to back to A2, all right? Now, that sounds crazy, and that's why it's taken me about five days to figure this out, but it's only going to take you a couple minutes because Kajabi has a feature that I didn't even know about, and I've been using it for um, since 2018, all right? And so um, what we need to do what you need to do is you need to come over to your domain settings, okay, right here. And and what you need to do is you need to go to, to click on domain settings right here, okay, or DNS settings, DNS settings. And, and then what you need to do is you can see if we come up to the MX record right here. So these MX records right here, these, these first two, are pretty much the ones that... I think that Kajabi is using to send uh, emails. But you can see right here that I've created a new MX record right here that is pointing to my email, my uh, domain host, okay? And so you can see the MX record is ormelomusic.com and then the mail server is, is my uh, A2. And that's all you need to do, okay? So when someone sends me an email, so I've, I've bought my domain, zermelomusic.com, on A2, okay? But since I connected to Kajabi, Kajabi is using Cloudflare, so I had to update my name servers on A2, and now zermelomusic.com is basically, let's just say, under Cloudflare. So when someone sends an email to Zermelo Music, it's not going to A2, it's going to Cloudflare. But in order for me to check my email and use it freely, I need to get that email back over to A2, okay? And so I need to create an MX record in Cloudflare that sends the emails that I get to Zermelo Music over back to A2, okay? And um, yeah, and so with, with the Cloudflare, back to A2. Now, of course we don't have access to Cloudflare um, directly. And so Kajabi gives us access to change uh, DNS records or add DNS records um, in the back end of Kajabi itself. This is something I did not know. Um, and so that's, that's pretty much it. And so this right here is basically my ability to update some DNS records um, on Cloudflare about my account. And so the one that I really cared about was being able to um, send, get, uh, being able to s send any emails that went to Zermelo at zermelomusic.com back over to A2 so I can basically just interact with the emails right here inside of my account. 
right? Just like I could with um, Gmail, all right? And again, the, the, the simple way to do it is you just add a record. Uh, what kind of record for this video? We're just going to make a simple MX record. And then for the name, you could just do at, which is going to be, you know, whatever your domain is or mellowmusic.com for me. Um, and then the mail server is going to be whatever your domain host tells you to point it to. And then the priority, um, if you put it as zero, it's just the highest priority. That's what, um, when I was on support chat with A2, they told me to put zero here so it's highest priority. All right, so convoluted video, you know, for the, for the one or two people that watch this, um, I hope it helped. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too confusing. It is a very specific situation. You're probably not watching this anymore anyway. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Any comments, leave them down below. And I hope it helped. Peace out. Later.